Hi, I'm Darren King, or DK if you prefer. I started my channel some time ago to show that you don't need a lot of money to get out and about and enjoy the great outdoors. Then one cold, dark evening in November 2021, in a moment of complete madness, I went and bought a very old motorhome. Not really knowing what to look for or having any mechanical knowledge, I paid cash. Not advisable, and we've had some problems since. Ended up calling her Millie, and knowing very little about them, I have been on a journey of learning DIY and all about old motorhomes. Some say I've been winging it ever since. I like to think I'm making the mistakes so you don't have to. So come along, join me on our journey together and share the ups and the many downs of owning an old motorhome. Hi YouTubers! So this is our very first collaboration video. See, I, I got the word collaboration out. Well done, me. That's basically a video that we're going to do on a subject that other channels are also going to do a video on the same subject, but, you know, put their own kind of styles around it. And uh, we're all in a group together. So... Check out their channels, and I'm going to put the pictures and, and their logos and their links to their channels on the description below. So that's, uh, we've got the Babbling Brooks, we've got the What's Occurring, and we've also got the Mirandering Manx, and we've got the Hills on Tour. All very good channels, check them out, the links are below, and then go and check their video out, because our video today is about drinking. <laughs> something that me and Jess know nothing about, so we've had to do a bit of research, and we've been practicing drinking, haven't we? So we've been doing a lot of drinking just for this video. So we're gonna do camping cocktails. So if you're interested, stay tuned. We're off to get some booze. Ladies, ladies, 375. Is that part of the baby side? As in, is it alcoholic, classic, what's the volume? Okay. Okay, so this is the Island Punch Cocktail. Very simple one part of uh, white rum. Now we didn't have any white rum, so we're using the Cocoa Bay. So there's gonna be a little coconut flavor to it as well. So there's a, uh, I have no idea what an ounce is. <laughs> yeah, get that. And then equal parts pineapple. Now this is proper cocktail, this watch. I'm gonna pour both in at the same time. Watch the skill, Jeff, <laughs> watch, watch the, the skill. <laughs> Oh, look at that! Oh. Cocktail war! Tom Cruise, eat your heart out. Bit of grenadine! Because <laughs> <laughs> Geraldine was not invited. She wasn't available. A little bit more. A bit more Make right. it a bit sunset. This is not sunset, this is the island, mind you, islandy. Islandy is something. And as Jess pointed out, because of all this fruit juice that we're drinking, we're actually getting probably four of our five a day. If not all of it. Bit of that. Can you flip it? No, because it'll go everywhere. Ah. Oh, flip it. Oh, look at the colour of that as well. Oh, no. Oh. Is it sweet? It looks sweet. Oh, this takes over. This this beats the Arizona sunrise, I think. I told you this one was going to be good. I'm just going to put a bit more in. Oh, man. Let's see what Jess thinks of it. This is one I would order. Yeah. And drink all night. <laughs> Does that beat the Arizona sunrise? Yes, it is, is nice, favorite. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. This is a new Millie favourite. And you get a little bit left in the cocktail shaker, so. Is there 
I'm going to get into cocktails, I think. This is nice. I think I could... Uh, this is really nice, by the way. Oh. So, just to repeat. As much rum as you like. Highly recommend the coconut rum, because I think it adds that little flavour to it, the coconut in. So, coconut flavoured rum. Put your equal parts orange juice and pineapple juice. Large quantity of... Grenadine, <laughs> and uh, give it a shake and enjoy. And then above all this filtering it and putting it into another glass of ice. You don't have that much ice on a motorhome anyway. Seeing that the ice in the cool boxes should last you for about two days. These will definitely be okay for the following night, if not a little bit watery. But it keeps all your drinks cool. So just with the cool boxes, because I don't have a fridge that works off grid you can pretty much keep your drinks cool for at least two days if you've got really good cool boxes. That is a nice night, isn't it? Mm. Jessie drank it all. She hasn't left me any. I have left you half. Oh, I know, I know. Although if you don't drink it quick... Man, it's coming quick. for. The <laughs> <laughs> problem is that's dangerous because it doesn't taste it's alcoholic. It's lovely though, isn't mm -hmm. it? That's one of those that you get up and you're going to yeah, we may fall down the step getting out of me. <laughs> okay, so what we got? We've got some ice in the cocktail shaker. I'm not going to bother measuring. We're just going to go go freestyle. So it says a dash of grenadine. <laughs> not Geraldine. Uh, I just put a dash of it in it. A dash of that. You have to in. cover the bottom. You have to put no, no, not to cover the bottom. What, my bottom or the glass bottom? Well, the glass good. bottom. Three shots of tequila. Oh. Somebody didn't put the top on. <laughs> and then some orange juice. So what? Oh. Probably put a little bit, a bit more orange juice in. Oh, nice colour. A bit of orange juice in there. Squeeze the lime. I've got the strength to squeeze. <laughs> it's about <right>, squeezing it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the gun. Put the, put the top on. So you do your top, Tom Cruise. Here's your top back. Right? Do you know why you shake a cocktail? A, it's to chill it because of the ice. Okay. But also, shaking it puts air into the drink, which apparently lessens the uh, bitterness and the strong flavour. Because cocktails came round about the time during Prohibition when the gin tasted rank and the whole idea was to make it taste a little bit better by shaking it in a cocktail and obviously adding fruit to it. So, shot on the glass, so when we pour it... Now, it does say you're supposed to sieve it over ice, but if you're on a motorhome, you're not going to have tons of ice, so I'm going to use the same ice. Oh, mm, that looks nice, good. doesn't it? First taste... Oh. Do you want a straw? No. <laughs> well, that's actually quite nice. Oh, that's the called the Arizona Sunrise, I think. <laughs> you know we're winging it, aren't we? <laughs> oh, now I'm all sticky. Hold on, I've got white wipes. <laughs> Always have white wipes in your motorhome. They're a must. All right, let's see what Jess thinks. I like that one. Yeah, that's a nice one, isn't it? Mm. Very refreshing. That's, Jess messed that one up. <laughs> <laughs> Rude. We're going to do it again. But we're going to change the ratios. Well, well, that's, not... that's still a full tequila. Yeah, it's going to be one and a half to oh, half okay, a grenadine. Yeah. One. So the ratio is the same, but the amounts are smaller. Okay, why put more tequila in there? Because it's one and a half, don't oh, Okay. That's a lot of tequila. Not tequila. The good thing about this is you don't need washing up. <laughs> I also have a sneaky feeling it's all leaking out, so. That's all right. I'll drink it quick. I do like grenadine. Is it just not sugary syrup stuff? Yep, that's why I like it. It is all leaking. Is it making a mess? No. 
Have you got a straw? Very tequila but it's quite sweet. It's nice. But it's leaking. I'll drink it quick then. <laughs> Oh, oh, but it's leaking everywhere. I yeah, maybe maybe, maybe, maybe we didn't get waterproof oranges. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we need we waxed oranges. Mm. Mm. Ah, yeah. You like it? It's basically just tequila and sweet stuff. <laughs> and I can't tequila. actually t taste the sweet stuff. It's an absolute mess. So this is Jess's take on a popular cocktail called what's it called slippery nipple and what should it be it should be sambuca and baileys but i didn't ask darren to buy sambuca so we haven't got any right so, so we are going to make millie's nipples using tequila and baileys tequila da, 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 da. <laughs> you want to say that every time you say tequila oh, yeah. so it's just half and half yeah i think so i'm sure slippery nipples and literally you just down it would you like to do it? No, 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 you don't know that. You're, you're doing the first one. Yeah, I know, but what if it's not mm. nice? You made it. Okay, right, so you should. There you go. Oh, God. Right, ready? Oh, it's nice. <laughs> it gives a shot. Right, three, oh, two, it. one, just damn it. Oh yeah, that's lovely that. Do you like Millie's nipples? I like Millie's nipples. <laughs> so that's Millie's nipples everyone. We've invented a cocktail. We're going to invent a few cocktails. But that is basically half Bailey's and half tequila. Tequila! Da -da 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 -da! That's what you say every time you say tequila. It's a nice video of you itching your ear down. <laughs> it's when the finger comes out the other way. <laughs> okay, so we've decided to create be creative and make our own cocktail so we're going to mix a few things together if this does exist then you know let us know in the comments but i don't think it does we're going to put a bit of gin in a little bit of gin measurements or are we just dash a dash oops i don't want the lid dash that. didn't want the lid for that one that was tequila, by the way. Tequila! <laughs> 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 I can't even know. <laughs> Uh, this is the coconut rum. This is lovely. That does taste nice. And then you've got to add your orange juice and pineapple juice, but you've got to pour it at the same time. That's that's that's, that's critical. Because you might think you are Tom Cruise. Ooh. Oh, see the the little lifting up and stuff out. And then uh, what's its name? Grenade. There is not a grenade. I can't even think what it's called. <laughs> <Mending. laughs> Alright, put a little bit of that in to get a little bit of... What did you put in, Darren? Uh, that stuff. <laughs> Some red stuff. Some red stuff, right. We like red. And then, I think lime. Mm. A squirt of lime. This is where Darren cuts his finger off. Yeah, that knife is sharp. She says, and then, can't even cut a lime. Mm. And then my top tip with a fork. DK top tip. Lime juice. That'll stop the scurvy. So if you are away in the motorhome for a long time, right, then drinking cocktails will help you not get scurvy. Is that a common motorhome? I think I think that regularly happens to people that go away a long time on motorhomes. Is that why we don't you know, go away for a long time? Because we, we value get, our health. We don't get what have we lost? The lid to the cocktail shape. Phone in, stop the clock! <laughs> oh, Tom Cruise is out. Don't get that. The caravan is a rock in, do not come enough. <laughs> oh, my hands are cold. <laughs> right. Oh, and it's stuck. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's free tea. Now we haven't given it a name yet because I thought we'd give it a taste and then we'll see. It matches curtains. Well, that's why we've got 
in terms of... You probably can't see it now. Has it disappeared? It's like camouflage. <laughs> so let's give it a taste and see what we think. Ooh. That's nice. But, but you're going to lose the use of your legs after a couple of them. But yeah, that's very nice there. Mm. Oh. Oh, yeah. Definitely. And you can taste the, the coconut coming through. Can't think of a name yet. So if you can think of a name. Sea legs. For Millie's new cocktail. We could just call it Millie's cocktail. But if you've got a better name, put it in the co comments below. Come, come, comment, come, comments. <laughs> Oh, see what Jess thinks of it. I like that. That's oh, nice, isn't it? And that's what I say to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> well, you didn't like the Baileys and orange juice. Mm. No. Mini tastes good. <laughs> So there you go, our first collaboration video on uh, motorhome camping cocktails. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, press the like button, comment, subscribe, and also check out the other channels, part of the collaboration, all their links to their channels are below. Till the next time, catch you later.